Alicia and Brian, NCDOT named several issues, including relocating utilities, acquiring rights of way, and changes to the scope in the project. They say those are all reasons that the creation of what are supposed to be pay-to-play fast lanes are hitting a slowdown. The fast lane is going to come with a cost. You still see tons of construction, you know, both, both lanes, both directions. The $346 million toll lane project on I-485, stretching from I-77 about 16 miles to Highway 74, was supposed to be wrapped up this year. But NCDOT now says construction delays are pushing back the opening date about two more years to winter 2024. I don't spend a lot of time on it. I avoid 485 if I can, but if you're going to get around Charlotte, um, you've got to get on 485. Crews are building two more lanes in the southern section of I-485, one in each direction. Both of them will be tolls. And that to be like a double dip in the tax and we've already paid the construction in taxes and now we're going to pay to use the road that we already paid in taxes doesn't make sense to me at all. Just like on I-77, drivers will have a choice. Sit in traffic in the general lanes or bypass the gridlock by paying the toll. I'm going to choose the toll lane whenever it fits me best. Don't mind paying a little extra. Um, I do mind paying a little extra, but at the end of the day, um, it's a choice that you have to make. Jeremiah Needham says it's probably only a matter of time before we hear a big stink about the 485 tolls like we did with I-77. He refuses to pay the toll. That sounds ridiculous. And when I'm sitting in the traffic and I'm watching empty lanes to the right or the left, I think that that's wrong. I'm a taxpayer too in the state and the county. Now I asked NCDOT why even put in toll lanes instead of just widening the interstate without tolls? Well, they didn't really answer me, but they did point me to a study they did back in 2007. They say they studied different corridors in the Charlotte area, and this is one of the areas that they studied that said from that study that it would benefit most by putting in toll lanes here. I'm live in South Charlotte. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.